My name is Eric Lemon, and I am a composer and a performer. I live currently in St. Louis. I write both instrumental and electroacoustic music. Uh, and most of my music, at least now, uses technology in some way. But what I'm really interested in is politics, the ways that it inflects society, the institutions that we build, the complexities of political access, participation, and mobilization. But also more granularly, uh, the relationships that we form and then the meaning that we construct out of all of these things. I want to make music that reflects on all of that. When I say make music, what I really think of is not just the process of composing music, but also performing and producing it. This is why working with others is, in various configurations, is so important to me. Uh, that could be performing other people's work in Ensemble Decipher, co-authoring artistic works with old friends and strangers alike, helping contribute to the building of new institutions for concert art music, like when time and the drew unfinished. I want the productive process of musical creation in my practice to reflect my political goals, those being building a world that is more just, more equal. first piece I ever wrote is called The Cure at Troy, and this work is based on a play by the same name by Seamus Haney, and the work is about intractable religious and political conflicts. Uh, the piece harkens explicitly towards the Troubles uh, in Northern Ireland, the conflict between Irish Catholics and Protestants. But more importantly than that is that it really gives a beautiful description of how to move forward from those conflicts. After writing The Curate Troy, I began thinking about how do people go about changing their society. And this led me to a really wonderful collection of essays and poems uh, titled The Impossible Will Take a Little While. And the piece and the text are really a celebration of everyday people um, and their small political actions having an outsized impact on uh, our world. Uh, celebrates them working in the mud, uh, building community. And where the cure at Troy was more about the what, the kind of world that I wanted to see, one without uh, these cycles of violence, uh, the impossible will take a little while, is about uh, well, really about how to achieve that world.
after writing The Impossible Will Take a Little While, I started to think about how my artistic practice could better reflect my political ideals. And in this way, um, both The Cure Troy and The Impossible Will Take a Little While, they were a little bit dissatisfying because I would write the music, hand it over to performers to interpret, um, and then the audience would just listen. So that led me to thinking about, oh, what are ways that I can get the audience activated uh, so that they can participate in the productive process? And that led me to one of my uh, more recent works, which is uh, Politics One, is the title of the work, and it's really a computer music system and a piece uh, where the audience can send uh, messages to the computer music system, and then the system analyzes those texts, and then it generates music based on the, uh, the messages that are submitted. And so that's really exciting and fun because the audience gets to take part, they get to recognize what impact they have on the music. Um, and uh, I think better reflects what I'm trying to go for um, when it comes to politics within my own music. It also led to collaborations with other composer performers where we would get together, uh, write music, and then also perform it. In this way, um, those that are at least involved in the work um, were engaging in all levels of the productive process. After thinking about music and politics for such a long time, I wanted my current project to be a little bit more personal. Um, so I've been interviewing my friends, family, and acquaintances even, uh, uh, asking them about uh, objects or things that uh, they carry around with them that's difficult for them to let go of or to put down. I think of a more pejorative term for this would be baggage. Um, but I don't necessarily think of it uh, in such a negative sense. Um, it could be an object that you treasure, um, or it could be something that you can't let go of. So uh, for my own story, I've actually been using this um, blue canvas duffel bag that um, I've had for as, as long as I can remember through all the moves of my life, going all the way back to like 1997. And I had it with me when I went to college. And uh, I think my partner and I have moved six times in the past four years or something like that. And um, it's one of the few things that I haven't shed through all of these moves, surprisingly. And so it's kind of become, become this object, object with, object with Object, 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 object with that's, that's inscribed with some, some sort of permanence to it. Some, some st 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 stability. Did something go wrong with the audio thing? No. Okay, let's just let let's I'll just do it again. I have this bag. I have this bag. I have this. 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 I have this bag. I have this bag. I have this bag. 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 Bag
has a blue canvas top and a black rubber bottom. I think it's made for camping, but I've mainly used it for when I've moved. I think I've moved something like six times in the past three years or something like that. Um, but it, because I've been moving so much, it's one of these things that or it's one of the remaining things that I haven't really shed.
What do you think of when you hear the word baggage? I think all the things I've decided to put on myself have... Dealing with that? Have been a it's form still hard of when dealing people with don't baggage think or thinking your about family it. If we're, and I'm, who I'm, again, this you were is raised by. Is a bad. gift that I received from so someone I who is a it, friend, but, but not a very close friend. Like for me, it symbolizes something of, like, about the social I relationship think, uh, that I have with that I genuinely person. picture a 19, like, kind of, what is that, 40s, 50s suitcase with a little clasp that you have to unbuckle on both sides. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a loaded term, right? I've been surprised by the conversations I've had so far. They've all been beautiful in their own way. And some of the stories that folks have shared with me have been really quite touching. I still have several interviews to conduct and a lot of music to write, but I think this project and its prompts has really highlighted for me that bringing other people into my work, the, the mess they make, their unexpected lives colliding with my artistic intention, it's a really generative path and I think a wondrous one.